My name is Keith Tier. I'm the um, one of the founders of Accelerated Digital Ventures, a UK venture firm, and previously was the co-founder of TechCrunch and also uh, EasyNet, the first ISP in Europe. Uh, I live here in Palo Alto, where I'm talking to you from today, and I want to talk about uh, Patron. Patron is a company that is about to embark on a, an ICO. It's um, it's run by Japanese founders out of Tokyo and it's addressing a really interesting part of the digital ecosystem which is it could be broadly summed up as the influencer economy. If you think about the digital ecosystem it's made up of millions of people, actually billions of people and we're pretty divided into influencers and followers and the influencers are very very important um, they put a lot of effort into um, to publishing and disseminating ideas and they're very valuable because of that and the rest of us rely on them. Patron has realized that um, many third parties want to interact with influencers to try to engage them uh, to, to disseminate the message of the third party. Um, for example, I'm an advisor to the ICO of Patron and that's very important to Patron to have advisors who have an audience and who are trusted um, um, and will engage with that audience on behalf of the third party. It's, it's something that happens every day millions and millions of times. Patron's business is to build a platform that can both measure and reward influencers for the work that they do on behalf of third parties. Now, you know, there's many ways to think about this and one bad way to think about it would be that Patreon wants to turn every influencer into uh, somebody that gets paid for promoting a message. Uh, that, that couldn't be further from the truth. What Patreon wants to do is enable influencers who believe in a message and want to deliver it on behalf of a third party, like I do about Patron, um, to be able to do that, to be measured in terms of their influence and to be paid for their influence. What I really, really like about the Patron platform is that it's come up with multiple ways that an influencer can negotiate with a third party. Firstly, it's possible for a third party to negotiate a contract that basically promises that the influencer will spend a certain percentage of their time on behalf of the third party in their social media efforts over a defined period of time. The second is um, a contract that will allow an exclusive relationship between a third party and an influencer for let's say a month. And then finally, uh, they have a contract which enables the influencer to be effectively hired by a third party for a year and paid uh, something like a salary for that year. So those are three of the, 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 the real world things that already happen. But today they happen in private and they happen um, you know, uh, in a random kind of way. What, what Patreon wants to do is build a platform that makes this normalized, easy, and transparent using the blockchain. And by doing that, it's going to transform the relationship between the influencers and the third parties that want to, to retain them. That's a very important thing. Now, of course, um, like, like all startups, Patreon is a very early stage company. Uh, it's building its platform now with a very experienced team. The team has already successfully built a business in Japan helping influence Japanese ICO buyers on behalf of companies doing an ICO. And they clearly demonstrated their core concept themselves in doing that because Patron is itself an influencer in Japan and is getting rewarded for doing that by ICO companies. So it's a strong team. It's got an existing platform but it is building a new platform now um, and a very scalable internet-wide platform that can allow influencers, uh, normal people, to get paid. If you think about it, this is a, this is a fairly common thing. Uh, Facebook, you could think of as uh, an entity with a huge audience. Uh, it influences that audience in various ways. And because of that, third parties come to Facebook and buy advertising in order to leverage Facebook's influence and reach um, and reach the people that use Facebook. 
So companies with, with influence already do what Patreon is talking about. What Patreon is trying to do is build a platform that lets individuals do that and get paid for what they love doing, which is, um, which is being an influencer in the domain that they're knowledgeable in or an expert in. I think it's a great, very good initiative. I think uh, like all startups, there's a lot of risks, but the team is good, the vision is good, and the ability to execute, I believe, is good as well. And if they pull it off, it's going to be a very big outcome. This is uh, Keith Tier on behalf of the Patron ICO. Thank you for listening.